Alright folks, we're here at the Nitro Barn, hanging out, got the old Parts Plus car stripped down naked here, and we're going to start doing a few videos that uh, we'll post from time to time, basically how things work. Got questions on how anything on the top fuel car works, we'll try to explain it, post it, that way y'all can check it out and see it. So we're going to call these the Parts Plus Motorsports Moment. Got questions? Post them, let us know. Let's get started. Alright folks, we've all seen these cars go 330 plus miles an hour. Top fuel cars, funny cars, 335 as fast as I've ever been, fastest ever, 339. While they have got fantastic brakes on them, the first thing we do when we get into the finish line area is open the parachutes. I want to show you all today how they work, how we pack them, and how they make you stop. So I get questions every now and then, you know, how the parachutes work, do they open automatically? In this Parts Plus top fuel car, I operate them manually. It's really simple. The parachutes are not complicated. So as we're approaching the finish line, when I get to the mile an hour light, which is 66 foot before the finish line, I'll reach over and simply push this handle forward. And when I push that handle forward, that releases the parachutes and we'll show you what happens in the back of the car. So as we're coming up on the finish line and I showed you how we push the handle forward, it's really simple how this works. There's two wires coming from that handle, running through the top frame rail of the car, going through the parachutes right here. Very simple how this works. Yep. So pretty simple how that works. Driver pushes the handle forward, those wires come out, and we have what's called a pilot chute. When the pilot chute jumps out like you just saw there, these things are obviously in the air going 300 some miles an hour, and it just goes back, chute comes out, air catches it, blossoms, and it slows us down just like that. All right, so we just made our 335 mile an hour run. The fun part's over with, now the work begins. We gotta get this parachute back in that little bitty bag. Here's how you do it. All right, so folding these things is pretty simple. I gotta tell a quick story, I'm always full of stories and the guys are laughing because that's what I always say, I've got stories. So I was always very slow at packing a parachute and I'm not saying I'm fast now, but I was given a lesson from a legend in the sport, a lady named Amy Falk. Amy Falk has won in top alcohol dragster, stock, super stock, comp. She is definitely a legend. and She's the one that taught me how to do this and do it a little faster. So you take your pinky, and you grab the folds of the parachute, next finger, next finger, next finger, and then you kind of look down the strands, you make sure they're not all twisted up, swap hands, grab the tail, kind of get it shook out, take and lay it on the ground just like that, and then you start grabbing the folds of the chute, there's eight of them, and I will actually sit there and count them, make sure that everything is kind of loose and spread out the way it's supposed to be. It is not like jumping out of an airplane. I packed chutes thousands of times. I wouldn't jump out of a plane with one I packed, but I'll be go down the racetrack with it, that's for sure. Get those where they need to be, put your knee on it, kind of do the same thing. All we're trying to do is keep the chute from being twisted up Make sure that everything is kind of flat, nice, spread out. Grab it, get it all good and flat again. It's just like folding towels. So grab it, fold it in half here. Kind of tuck it all in, make it nice, square. Push the air out of it. And you kind of know what size the parachute box is, so you just put your hand right here, slide your other hand underneath, fold it over. Basically, it's an accordion fold is what that is. That is not the prettiest I've ever done it. So now at this point, grab it all up, grab the pilot chute, and make your way to the race car here. Then you let down, flip it over, get the cords out of your way, open that up, and it's pretty simple. You just start grabbing these cords, 
and just go back and forth just like that. Not real complicated, y'all. It's usually a little bit hotter, a little bit more action going on, but this is how it's done. Once you get those there, grab the chute, push it back over, put all 140 pounds on it, mash it down nice and flat. Come to the parachute box, make sure those are all open like that. Take, grab the whole pack, and you just start working it in there. Pretty simple. Packing 10 pounds into a five pound box, that's what you're doing right here. Get it all pushed in there best you can. Keep it nice and square. Grab your little chute string here. Put it through the pilot chute. Get her about halfway. And now the hard part. Done this a lot of times and I'll probably mess it up while we're on camera here, but at any rate, take, fold all that stuff under. Get one hand on there. And at this point, left and right shoot's done a little differently. So you grab the shoot bag on this left parachute. You will grab the inside of the bag. The hard part is for whatever reason is getting the string put in there. It's a simple job. Pull that over. We should have put the bolts in there. <laughs> it's all good. But you grab this left side of the chute bag. Once you get that through there, you take your thumb and hold it there. Once you've got your thumb on there, you pretty much have control. And then you will just pull back through this way. Make it look nice and pretty. So the reason you go to this inside first is everything you're doing, you want to direct that pilot spring to jump out that way. So it would be the opposite on that side. You want that pilot chute to grab the air as it's going by. So the same kind of deal, you do the bottom. And then next, and lastly, you will do the top. And the reason you do the top, when all of that thing starts to unfold, when, that's, when the wire comes out, that will jump out, which will start to spring up. The bottom one comes out, then it will head this way. Pretty simple. Only takes a couple minutes, and that's how you pack a parachute. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that. Quick rundown of how the parachutes work on these cars. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe button. Put your comments down below, and maybe we can actually show something that you want to see, how these cars work, what makes them function, and the way that we go about putting them back together. Everybody, thanks for watching. See you soon.